if you're new here in my channel please like okay i need the titties to sit well maybe i'll be invited to tell if you're new in my channel my name is k munto bear i'm a kenyan i'm kenyan i'm a kenyan youtuber i live in nairobi kenya and uh, yeah everyone has been given a sponsored video by youtube all i hear on my favorite youtubers video and i'm happy for them clap for others until it's your time for you to be clapped at everyone is being invited on the youtube of oh my god let's just insert from my favorite youtubers um that coachella and i'm like feel like i'm missing out and for you guys who don't know coachella what coachella is because also didn't know about what coachella is but i got to know about coachella through youtube of course i learn everything through youtube nowadays so coachella is like a music festival where the where a list celebrities a list musicians perform on stage and it's just bougie and we're also at influencers also go and worry about their outfits uh please explain down below if i have missed what coachella is but it's basically like i just missed out i wish i could see city girls but i am africa and in africa we don't get invited <laughs> do anything <laughs> and you're part of youtube like youtube if you're watching please invite me to one of these events i might not contribute are you not are you guys not taking my 55 is it 55 are you guys not taking my 45 how much cut do youtube take from my monetized views yes you take a part of it so you better invite your girl you also africa is also part of youtube <laughs> anyway guys please like comment and subscribe and um i'm just feeling some type of way i wish i could be invited to coachella but since i'm not we're just gonna cook and hope one day we can afford to go to coachella yeah so yeah today i'm just cooking um githeri githeri is um corn mixture of corn and beans so there are different types of corn out there but our corn our kenyan corn our east african corn we call it maize corn and it's white so there are different types of corn i've seen black corn i've seen yellow corn but the coarse corn one here is the white one and this one is specifically called modokoi because the maize has been removed the outer shell so it will be much softer so i've soaked them i've soaked my beans and my maize i wish i could have soaked them overnight but who who ever in my so i'm gonna insert pot them and cook and i'm going to do all that with you guys so if you like this chill kind of videos please you know what to do please like comment subscribe and the road to 40k subscribers and please guys the long goal this is a short term goal the long goal is to reach 100k subscribers so i can get the plaque and put it here and maybe i'll get to be invited to this awesome events guys mm -hmm. so anyway that's what we're going to do today and um eat githeri we call it it's a very local dish in kenya and it's mainly we know we have like 40 more than 40 tribes in kenya and each tribe we have a common most popular dish you know that so this githeri is from kikuyu and kambas they eat more of this this is their most common uh yeah so i'm gonna make it because when i was in school we used to eat githeri and didn't like it but now i like githeri eating it with chapati and rice i like putting like a buffet yeah anyway don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you like this kind of videos let me know yeah <laughs> yes and um yeah shout out to everyone who was invited to coachella you have your best time and uh we just here in africa the youtubers are going to clap for you until it is also a time or also we have like afro what afro nation or something yeah anyway too much talking let's start cooking guys today 
we are I'm making githeri. It's a mixture of beans and maize corn from my mom's farm. So it is organic, not from the supermarket, from our farm. So that's how I make, I prepare them. I remove the dust from, this is the dust. Remove the dust from the beans I took out. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Your cereals. <laughs> I was cooking yellow lentils. So now I have to show you everything. Because if I don't show, it didn't happen. Yeah. To answer your question, I wash my. And I've washed it more like three times. So I've raised it three times. So this is our beans they have been soaking so i'm gonna drain out they have been soaking for four hours because i'm gonna drain out the water i have to show you because if i don't show you it did not happen <laughs> i'm gonna drain it then drain about these are two cups of maize uh, beans two cups of beans and one and a half cup of maize corn also rinse actually rinse it because if i don't rinse it it did not happen because someone asked me why i came on to when i was cooking um I was like, okay yellow lentils why don't you wash your lentils get on top you know sometimes when you comment guys kate when you comment down i i can sense the tone of how you're talking to me so yeah so I've rinsed it now. I hope you'll comment. Good job, Kemuto. You've rinsed your cereals. Yes. <laughs> we need that validation. So, I'll put how much amount I've put. This one, the maize corn is named Motokoi, I think. Uh, we remove, I bought when it was removed the seeds from the supermarket. Yep. So, Mix dish. Mix dish. Here. Yeah. So there it is, our mixture. One tablespoon of salt. If you put salt when you are boiling to add the taste. So my water is up to my nini is, I think it's six liters. Yeah. So this water is enough. Close the lid. Then show you it didn't happen. Never put a venting, put a ceiling here. So we are doing what? What are we doing? We are doing you can do here bean or lentil. You can do it actually there. But I prefer doing it manually because I have maize also there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put pressure cooker and then add the minutes up to 40. I feel like that's where bitter so i just add it whoa, whoa 40 and then you can just 
start be back shortly this is the best investment if you're living alone invest in this thing and also i want to invest in a air fryer because the last one i had i was given by a company but it was so huge i want something for one person two person max air fryer <laughs> okay we'll be back shortly if you like this kind of videos you know what i do subscribe like and comment and happy easter happy easter babies now happy ramadan also mm. also guys comment what ratio do you like your githeri like do you like are you at two beans one cup maize ratio or you like it equal ratios for me i like my corn maize much yeah Ah, 40 minutes later it's done, but I'm waiting for it to quick release and uh, no, to release on its own. It has been 10 minutes, it has released its pressure on its own. Now we open it. It has taken what? What? Wow. So that ratio of water was good. Oh, it's perfect. Meva. Kabisa. Kabisa Meva. Can you see it? Yeah. Meva. It's good. Shout out to my new cookware. Karai. My sister-in-law gifted me this. So this is my first time. I know I'm not supposed to cook it there in this. This one is for Mahamri, Mandazi, chips, it's a karai, but, but I wanted to use it, I was so excited to use it. Thank you, my sister in gifted this to me, and also another thing she gifted me is this. Finally, my chapos is the Kuakoa, this one all the way from Mombasa. See that? Karai at a party, finally. See this lamp? Yeah, this is the best heavy duty. So first I've already cut my ingredients here. First I'll drop my onions. I'll saute my onions. I like my gideri with potatoes. So that's why. I'll just drop it my potatoes on the soup. Okay, vanilla. Okay. And then the garlic and carrot. I'll add a teaspoon of salt. Teaspoon of salt. I'll add my spices, I'll add a beef masala. Should go in half a teaspoon. I think I should have a half a teaspoon. It's really good to measure your spices. Half a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon of cumin. Cumin, round. Teaspoon of, I think this one should be out a quarter. Quarter teaspoon of turmeric. I love this brand. And my aim is to buy all spices from this brand because they have no added salt in it. They are 100% pure. 
they have no preservative they are gmo free gmo free and lastly i'll add my maggi i think two maggis i think we need this this maggi maggi stuff <laughs> Because already my jiberi is already cooked. I love cooking all the jiberi by the way. No, I just boiled many so that like a meal prep. I'm squeezing the lemon line. I'm squeezing the lemon so that you can activate the turmeric. So now it seems like my nana, <laughs> my onions are cooked. Now I drop them. You can skip this part that every time I also love tomatoes. So I've peeled off the skin of my tomatoes. And I'm cooking them. buy uh, leaves for my cooker. Okay, now I don't have it. So I'm letting the nanya cook. one cup of water so the potatoes are cooked now that's when I'll put my berry I'm almost like meal prepping because I don't like cooking every day so that's why I always cook enough. I put this other one on the freezer. Yes. But then we back in England. Put it on the freezer. So now I will stir. The potato potatoes took like 10 minutes to cook. Now that's when I'll put my kideri. Kideri is basically maize and beans. Tell me in the comment section how you cook your kideri. I like ideas. Then I'll just pour in coconut cream. Then we're going to make it with cassava. Then stir.
and my gibberry is ready i'll just wait for it to steam <coughs> to simmer for a few and it's basically ready Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Very my quite ready. Have a good day. I'm going to pay for you guys this food and for your next meal as well. You get one. There you go. There you go. There you go. See you ladies. Newcomers. <laughs> we got you guys.